the science delusion is the belief that science already understands the nature of reality in principle, leaving only the details to be filled in. This is a very widespread belief in our society. It's the kind of belief system of people who say, I don't believe in God, I believe in science. It's a belief system uh, which has now been spread to the entire world. But there's a conflict in the heart of science between science as a method of inquiry based on reason, evidence, hypothesis, uh, and collective investigation, and science as a belief system or a worldview. And unfortunately, the worldview aspect of science has come to inhibit and constrict the free inquiry, which is the very lifeblood of the scientific endeavor. Since the late 19th century, uh, science has been conducted under the aspect of a belief system or worldview, which is essentially that of materialism, philosophical materialism. And the sciences are now wholly owned subsidiaries of the materialist worldview. I think that as we break out of it, uh, the sciences will be regenerated. What I do in my book, The Science Delusion, which is called Science Set Free in the United States, um, is take the ten dogmas or assumptions of science and turn them into questions, seeing how well they, turn, how well they stand up if you look at them scientifically. None of them stand up very well. Dogma seven, memories are stored inside your brain as material traces. Somehow everything you remember is in your brain in modified nerve endings, phosphorylated proteins. No one knows how it works, but nevertheless, uh, almost everyone in the scientific world believes it must be in the brain. Dogma eight, your mind is inside your head. All your consciousness is the activity of your brain and nothing more. Dogma nine, which follows from dogma eight, Psychic phenomena like telepathy are impossible. Your thoughts and intentions cannot have any effect at a distance because your mind's inside your head. Therefore, all the apparent evidence for telepathy and other psychic phenomena is illusory. Um, people believe these things happen, but it's just because they don't know enough about statistics or they're, de they're deceived by coincidences or it's wishful thinking. And dogma 10, mechanistic medicine is the only kind that really works. That's why governments only fund research into me mechanistic medicine uh, and ignore complementary and alternative therapies. Uh, those can't possibly really work because they're not mechanistic. They may appear to work because people would have got better anyway uh, or because of the placebo effect. But I think every one of these dogmas is uh, very, very questionable. And when you look at it, uh, it, it turns, they, they fall apart. One of the biggest areas is the nature of the mind, uh, that science simply can't deal with the fact we're conscious. Um, and it can't deal with the fact that our thoughts don't seem to be inside our brains. Um, our, our, our experiences don't all seem to be inside our brain. Your image of me now uh, doesn't seem to be inside your brain, yet the official view is there's a little Rupert somewhere inside your head, and everything else in this room is inside your head. Your experience is inside your brain. And I think as we question these uh, dogmas that have held back science so long, um, science will undergo a reflowering, a renaissance. I'm a total believer in the importance of science. I've spent my whole life as a research scientist, my whole career. Um, but I think by moving beyond these dogmas, it can be regenerated once again and become interesting and, I hope, life-affirming. Thank you.